right there. You gotta understand, you never heard nothing like this before in your life, bro. So give us five to ten minutes, all right? You're gonna learn something. Give me Romans 13 and 8 real quick. Get up! Romans 13 and 8. Hey, my brother Chris, right? You asked the question about Christ. On, on these two hangeth the whole law, right? That's what you asked, right? Yeah. All right, watch this. Read what you got. Romans chapter 13 and verse 8. Come on. Owe no man anything uh -huh. but to love one another. Right. It says, owe no man anything but to love one another. Watch this. For he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. Right. So it says, if we love one another, we fulfilled the law. So my brother, could you just give me an example of what that's talking about. Is that talking about me coming over here and hugging you? What is that talking about? Go ahead, Chris. Well, we'll stay right there. Like, you're looking out for somebody, like... Looking out for somebody. Okay, give me an example. All right, somebody's struggling. All right, I see someone struggling. They're asking me, oh, can I hold a dollar? I'll give them something. Or I see somebody poor. I see, I help out the poor, like, something like that. Like, like helping them out. Helping somebody else. Okay, you say helping them out. All right, yeah. so we got a scripture to show that that's not what it's talking about. You got, you got what I want? Go ahead. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12 and verse 7. Yeah. Give unto the good and help not the sinner. You see that thing right there? So it can't be talking about just sparing some change. That's not what it's talking about right there. So give me another example. Because why are we bringing this up? Because, Chris, we've been taught wrong as a people. You understand when it comes to the Christian church, they, they're not teaching us the Bible correctly. Right. Remember, the Christian church was instituted by the same people who put us in slavery. Right. right. Where we at? Where we at? Where's, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I want, I want, I want slave, there we go, slave ships, slave ships. The Christian church was instituted, who did this to us, Chris? The white, the white, people. The white people. Who taught us Christianity, Chris? The white, people. the white people. So for example, I always ask this question, Malcolm X did the same thing. Think about it. Say if you had a partner, not a partner. Say um, you had a dude that came to your house, right? Let's say he punched your mother in the face. He raped her. And then two days later, he said, you know what? I'm sorry about what I did. I'm sorry about it. Hey, let me take you out to eat. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, I got a church. You want to come to this church with me? Would you go to the same church with him? No. Why? Because he just went to home. And he did what? And he just disrespected He He raped her. He punched her. Ain't that the same thing they did to us in slavery now? Bring it up. Chris, hello? Ain't that the same thing the white man did to us in slavery? Right. Yeah. And didn't he teach us the Bible? Right. Right. Yes, Chris. But why we go to their churches? But can I say something? Yeah, go ahead, Chris. I feel like that same Bible you hold them, they the reason why we even hold them. No, 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 no. Because your history and your mind, it stops in 1619. That's what it is. You don't know about your history before you got over here in those cargo slave ships. Right. right. Is but the King James Version? This is the King James Version. Yes, he's a black man, the King of Scotland. Yes. Right. Him. right. The same one. Now, let me show you something. I'm going to go back to Romans 13 and 8 real quick because I see this, this could take us a lot of different ways, but I want to make sure you understand the question that you asked originally, and then we can go to that. Well, I'll read what you got. Romans chapter 13 and verse 8. Come on. Oh, no man anything. But to love one another. Uh -huh. For he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. It says you have fulfilled the law. Now, if we just close the book, you would think it's still, hey, I love you. That's what you would think it is. But now the scripture is about to give us in detail what it means to love one another. All right, read what you got. For this, thou shalt not commit adultery. For this, I won't sleep with your wife. You understand? Because I love you. Meaning what? I'm still applying God's commandments. Adultery. You understand? Come on. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not kill. But did it say that? Did it say love one another? Did it say that? Thou shalt not kill? No, it didn't. It's literally a summary of what? All of the laws that we have to keep right. with one another. Right. That's all it's talking about, bro. Read on. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not steal. I can't rob you. I can't steal from you. Why? Because I love you. Read. Thou shalt not bear false witness. I can't lie on you. No false accusations. I can't do none of that to you. Right. Because the scriptures say, I got to love you like I love myself. Right. Read. Thou shalt not covet. Thou shalt not covet. Meaning what? I can't covet your shoes, your kicks. I can't covet where you stay. I can't cover you. I can't do none of that. Because God says I can't do that. If I love you, I won't do these things. Right. Read. And if there be any other commandment. If there be any other commandment. Guess what? It's more than just two, Chris. It's more than just two. But the Christian church, they want you to believe that it's only two. Why? 
so you can remain in sin, bro. Right, 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 right. Right. Understand the same person that raped, robbed, murdered your mother, your ancestors, is the same people who who, who set up Hezekiah Walker. Right. The white man, the seminary, the Bible schools. You understand? Finish that off for me. And if there be any other commandments, Come on. it is briefly comprehended in this saying. Watch this. Namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Briefly comprehended, meaning what? It's summarized. You understand? It was it was all put together. It's not saying that, what, now you can kill. If you kill somebody, what's going to happen to you? You're going to go to jail. Why? Because it's against the law. Right. That's right. why. You understand? You see how foolish that sounds when they say, oh, it's only two commandments. Nah, give me Deuteronomy 28, 46. I'm going to show you something. Because when it comes to that ideology, when it comes to the Christian no, church. No, it's because he summed it into two. But did you just see what that really meant today? Did you find out that it's still talking about thou shalt not kill? It's still talking about thou shalt not steal? You understand what I'm telling you? But I think what Jesus was trying to say is. He just said, he just cleared it up. No, 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 I'm, I know, I understand. But All right, go ahead. Say, like, I think Jesus is trying to say, like, it's a sin thing, not really a, something I could just do on my own. No, nah, Chris, you clear that up. I don't, I don't was, understand. You lost me. Clear that up for me. I don't know what right. you're talking about. So, like, basically, he's saying, like, only in him can we achieve these things. Don't kill, don't steal, don't. This yeah, we got to have the spirit of Christ. I but, agree with you. But, I agree Cause you see, like my neighbor is black, like busy, like my man, like you know, black on black crime. My somebody getting shot right now, and that's my own people doing that to me. Right. right. So. But why? Cause they choose to get up and do it. Think about it, Chris. Before you walked up here, you didn't know you was an Israelite. You understand? Give me Matthew twelve and forty six. I don't. Go but back. can I say something? Like yeah, I don't want to hold. Ahead. I'm not trying to be disrespectful. It's all good. I'm not. I'm not taking this disrespect. Like um. I don't want to hold my, I don't want to hold what someone did to me against their mother. I don't want to hold what this, this dude probably shot, shot me on, like, straight bullet hit me. Who are you talking about? You talking about your neighbor or are you talking about the white man? I, I, I overall no, 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 I, I, I won't take overall. You got to tell me what you're talking about. Which my, one? Oh, right. And, huh? Hold on, hold on. Your neighbor that look like you or you talking about the white man? Which one are you talking about? You're talking about the white man. All right, continue your statement. Go ahead. All right. I'm not going to let what someone did to me, I'm not going to say, I hate you, and I hate your mom, and I hate your dad. I'm not going to say, I hate you, and your mom, and your dad, and your grandma. I'm not going to want to, I'm not going to want to, hold on. I don't want to attack them and I don't want to judge him and say he's just like them because of what they did or what he did. I don't want to judge them and say they they're that. I'm like it's like why hold a grudge against people who's already in the grave? Okay, all right. So you, you said your statement, right? Yeah. All right. So before you read that, give me Ecclesiastes four and sixteen real quick. Give me Ecclesiastes chapter four and verse sixteen. All right. Watch this. So you with me, Chris? You're going to listen to yeah, We're going to give you the answers, all right? Okay. Watch this. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 4 and verse 16. Come on. There is no end of all the people. So you said they're dead in the grave, right? Yeah. God says that there's no end of all the people. What does that mean? Meaning what? You think they're dead and gone. No, no, no. People keep coming back. That's Meaning what? Right. The same ones that raped, robbed, and murdered our poor parents, they're back on the earth right now. Right, right, right. No, right. no, listen, listen. Do you in Chris, the life? Chris, check it out. Didn't I listen to you? So now I'm oh, going yeah, right, right, right. to give you some sense according to the scriptures. Right. Don't listen to rebuttal. Listen for some understanding. All right? Read it again. There is no end of all the people. Come on. Even of all that have been before them. Even of all that have been before them. Think about it. What you said, you know what you said in your statements? Because I have a good, I listen, I have a good memory on that. You said, I feel. I feel that Christ is saying this. I feel that this is what it's talking about. We're going to go with what God says. All right, Chris? Read it again. There is no end of all the people. Come on. Even of all that have been before them. God is telling you, even all of those who are so-called, quote-unquote, dead and gone, now nah, there ain't no end of them. It's the same people coming back to the earth over and over again. Read they also that come after shall not rejoice in him. Surely, that's it on that. Go ahead, go ahead, go 
But surely this also is vanity and vexation of spirit. Now, I want to show you something because you said, I don't want to hold grudges against what they did to me. I'm going to show you what God says. Bring it out. All right, watch this. Malachi. Malachi, chapter 1 and verse 1. Come on. The burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, saith the Lord. Yet ye say, wherein has the Lord... Has thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother? All right, so in the scripture, it's telling us what? There is Jacob, which are the 12 tribes of Israel. That's you and me today. Right. I understand blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. Then you have Esau. This is the, the so-called Caucasian race today. The reason why I say so-called, because that's not what the Bible calls them. Right. God calls them Esau, according to the Bible. Read on. Who is Esau? Esau is a so-called white man today. Caucasians, so-called white man, right? Read on. And I hated Esau. God says he did what? I hated Esau. You wonder why? You wonder why? Let's read on. We're going to find out. And laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Come on. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. You know when that took place? It's something called the Renaissance period. All right? You may not be familiar with the history, but guess what? Our people, we used to run the Roman Empire, the Byzantine time period. That was us. Now, when they said that they would rise and rebuild, that took place. It started with like Charlemagne in the 8th century. Were we together hold with on, them? Hold on, hold on. Took place with Charlemagne in the 8th century, then went to the Renaissance period, 14th century. When they started expelling us out of places like Spain, Portugal, you understand? Yeah. We started getting uh, kicked out, and they started enslaving us. All right, so the Bible's a true book. I gave you those historical records so you can see what the Bible's talking about. All right, let's read on. Verse 4. Come on. Where is Edom saying, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the rest of the You know what happened? When they returned and built, and they, they got over us, you know that there was a lot of rape, robbery, and murder. They killed us by the millions. That's what you got to understand. That's the history that a lot of our people don't know. They killed us by the millions, bro. Too, if we repent and keep his commandments, read. I will say to the north, give up. 
and to the south. So the north is talking about the European nation. Some of us is up there. A lot of our gad got transported over there to Europe. Read. And to the south. And to the south, Arabia and all those other countries over there. Come on. Keep not back. Bring my sons from far. You see that? Remember, Israel means, give me that, in Genesis 32, 28. It says, bring my sons from far. Meaning what? Not just the sons here on the west. Not just the sons left in Africa, but the sons that are scattered throughout the four corners. All right, read what you got. Genesis chapter 32, verse 28. And he said, thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. Right, we, we quoted it. But you asked what it meant. But here's a scripture right here so you know when you walk away. Read. For as a prince has now power with God. Meaning what? As a, as being from Mali, as being an African American, there's no power in that. It say if you're an Israelite, you got power with the most high God. Right. Read. For as a prince has now power with God and with men and has prevailed. And have prevailed. Meaning what? In the end, the Israelites are going to get the victory. That's so right. You would want to be on this side. You don't want to be on that side, my brother. You understand? All right. I hope, I hope you understand that thing, bro. You got a question? Uh, I got you. Uh, so, it's a kind of uh, Christianity. This no, no, no. Uh, give me Acts chapter 11, verse 26. I'm going to show you something. Oh, yeah. Christianity mm -hmm. is what we're going into right now with my brother. Yeah. Showing you what? This right here. The, the people who did that to us, they instituted Christianity. Right. You understand? But I'm going to show you who the true Christians are, according to the scriptures. The true Christians are Israelites. Right. They're the only ones to, to, that can be true Christians. If you if you say so you are... what is the difference between Israelite and Jews? Like, well, Jews are Israelites. But the Jews that you're talking about, they are the wicked that the Bible spoke of. They're the synagogue of Satan. I'll go to that after this. Read what you got. Acts chapter 11, verse 26. Come on. And when he had found him, he brought him unto Antioch. And it came to pass that a whole year they assembled themselves with the church uh -huh. and taught much people. And the disciples were called Christians first. And the disciples were called Christians first. The 12, the, the apostles, those who continue the ministry after Christ uh, ascended up into heaven. Now watch this. Give me Acts 24 and 5 as well. When it comes to Christian, being a true Christian, okay? All right, I hope there's no confusion after this. And if you have any questions, you know, ask your question, but watch this. Acts chapter 24, verse 5. Come on. For we have found this man a pestilent fellow. This is Paul. You familiar with the apostle Paul in the New Testament? All right, so they said they found this man a pestilent fellow, read. And a mover of sedition. A mover of sedition meaning what? Strife or what you would call a riot today, starting a sedition. Read. Among all the Jews. Among all of the Jews. Because mind you, did all of the Jews love Christ? Did they believe in Christ? All of them? No. Many of them rejected Christ. So Paul was doing what? He was continuing the ministry of Jesus to Christ. So they accused Paul of a of being a ringleader of causing these seditions that started amongst the Jews. Why? Because they didn't believe on Christ. Read. Throughout the world. Uh-huh. And a ringleader of the sect of the Nazarenes. Right. A ringleader of the sect of the Nazarenes. You know who the Nazarenes represent? Jesus of Nazareth. Meaning what? The Jews were against Paul at that time. That was the real form of Christianity in its sense. But the, 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 the religion that you see today is not biblical Christianity. Right. Now, right. go back to Deuteronomy 28 and 46. I'm going to tie both of this together. Watch this. Deuteronomy 28, 46. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 46. Come on. And they shall be upon thee these curses. Meaning what? The Israelites, if we broke the commandments of God, God said that he would place curses on us. And that's when you look around, you can see that there. Why do you think our, our neighbors, our brothers and sisters is robbing us at gunpoint, killing us? Why do you think we in the slums in the ghetto across North, Central, South America? Why? Because the curses are against us. Read. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. Watch this. And upon thy seed forever. That's how we know who the Israelites are without a shadow of a doubt. Now you said we're not going to hold grudges against the, the white man, right? That's what you say. Now jump down to verse 48. Watch this. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. God calls them your enemy. 
God does not call them your friend. He calls them your enemy. Think about it. Would a friend put another friend in slavery? Yeah. No, he would not. What you're, what you're, what you're experiencing is uh, actually sorcery, man. It's my, no, I'm telling you, you say no, of course, but I'm telling you it is. Because how in the world could we witness this particular group of people continue to harm the children of God, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans? And my brother, I got a question for you. Got a quick question for you. What's the name? What's the name, my brother? All right, so how can we continue to witness all of these atrocities, right? And we still say, let's forgive them. Where you learn that from? Did you learn that from the Bible? Atrocities like what? Oh, like slavery. Right like now. the police killing us dead right. in the street. Right, right, right. You right. understand? Those are atrocities. Those are calamities. Those things are big that happen to us. So how could we continue to witness that and still say, I forgive them? Who? No, no, no. Check it out. I asked you a particular question, Chris. Who taught us to do that? Jesus. What scripture? He said, forgive Remember when Peter asked Jesus how many times to forgive him? He said, forgive me. He said, thy brother. He did not say, your enemy. Right. right. There's a difference, bro. Jesus didn't shed. Jesus didn't shed. Listen, listen, listen. You just said. He said, Peter. You said, Peter. Give me that Matthew 18, talking about 70 times 7. But, bro, I'm going to what you just quoted. Oh, shit, my bad, my bad. I'm going. Dang, did you understand? Yeah, I just said. All right, so, Chris, check this out. Hey, we got our school here in New York, bro. Check it out on the back. Okay. Hey, Chris, I'm going with what you said. I know this is new to you, bro, but you got to realize that's not what the Bible says. We're going to read it, then I'm going to let you speak again. I ain't going to do that to you. I'm going to let you speak, but since you called, I'm going to go to it. All right, you got it? Matthew chapter 18, verse 21. Come on. Then came Peter to him and said, Lord, how oft shall my brother... Shall my what? My brother. My brother. Kinsmen according to the what? Flesh. Yes. According to the flesh. The white man not your brother. Right. You understand? They're not your brother. I know you like... Bring it up. You look dumb about it. They're not your brother. Nope. Are they going through what you're going through? No! <laughs> so how can they be your brother? Right. Bring it up. Read it again. Then came Peter to him and said, Lord, how oft shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him? Read. Till seven times? Jesus saith unto him, I say not unto thee until seven times, but until seventy times seven. Absolutely. When it comes to my brother, when it comes to you, my brothers, you understand? Absolutely. That's how we deal. That's our wisdom amongst the nations. Right. Because God gave that to us, how to deal with one another. Right, right. But when it comes to the enemy, I got to show you another scripture. Give me 1 Samuel 14 and 47. Because you need to realize the difference between your enemies and your brothers. Right. I'm going to show you this scripture. Now I'm going to let you go back and talk, Chris. Right. But listen, when you speak, don't act like all of these scriptures didn't come out. That's what the Christian, no, 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 you understand no, no, what I'm saying, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, you should be like, okay, now I know that. That's in the I Bible. Read those, I read those same verses. We basically all right, but you, but you ain't understand them, Chris. You didn't understand them. Now Listen. check this out. Listen. I'm about to read uh, 1 Samuel 14 and 47, my brother. Right, I'm about to read this. Now, I'm showing you this so you can understand that there's a difference between the other nations and the Israelites. Right. This is what you got to understand, my brother. Read what you got. 1 Samuel chapter 14, verse 47. Come on. Bring it up. So Saul took the kingdom over Israel. Saul took the kingdom over the Israelites, the so-called blacks. Hispanics and Native Americans. That's what we were called in antiquity. We were called the Israelites. That's right. Not these names that we have now. This is when we were all one nation together. Read it again. So Saul took the kingdom over Israel. Come on. And fought against all his enemies. All of his what? His enemies. His enemies. And he's going to list some of them. Read. On every side against Moab. Moab is the current Chinese today. Asia. They're our enemies. They're not our brothers, bro. How do I know that? Because God said it. That's right. Read. And against the children of Ammon. Ammon are the so-called Japanese today. They are not our brothers, Chris. That's Read. right. And against Edom. And against Edom. That's the white man today. Right. They are not our brothers, but they are our enemies. That's Read. right. And against the kings of Zobah. The Hamites, the Africans, the actual Africans, they are not our brothers. Read. And against the Philistines. Africans. Read. And whithersoever he turned himself, he vexed them. Meaning what? 
God made us different than everybody else. Right. And he chose us. Right. Instead of trying to include everybody, how about we be thankful for God making us an exclusive people to himself? That's right. That's what we got to think about, right. my brother. Go ahead. What about mixed people? You said what about mixed people? Yeah, finish that off real quick. Verse 48. And he gathered in host and smote the Amalekites. The Amalekites. Because he asked the question about what about the Jews? The Amalekites, they're the ones pretending to be us today in the land. That's a seed of Esau, white people. Give me Revelations 2.9. Then we'll go to Numbers 1 and 18 because you ask what about mixed people? No such thing as mixed people. Let me ask you a question before we get the script. Does a woman have seed? Or is she just a, or she just uh does she receive seed? She receives. She receives it. All right, so what is responsible for creating that baby? The sperm, the seed. The seed, exactly. So there's no such thing as mixed people. But Read Revelations 2, 9 and Numbers 1 and 18. Listen and up. Black See, you're arguing it, but we're going to go to the scripture. I'm just asking a question. All right, ask your question. I said, what if the dude is black and the woman is white? So, so what baby is that then? Because you said it. I forgot, the, I forgot the No, 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 you just said it. Because I, I said, asked yeah, you. Yeah, that's a mixed baby. No, it's not. No, no, no. Yes. Chris, remember you just said that it's the seed that creates the baby. So you ask, what if it's a black father and a white mother? So you tell me, what is it? If the seed is the one that makes the baby, what is that baby? But wouldn't the melanin of that child be Can you answer my question? Huh? <laughs> See? is what I'm talking about, Chris. The seed is what makes the baby. So if it's a black father who carries the sperm, as you just said, but has this Chris, 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 see now you're going, see, now you're retracting what you even said out of your own mouth, Chris, because you want to hold, Chris, because you want to hold on to it, just be patient, and don't be, I'm your brother, Chris, it's just that your world is being changed before your eyes, because everything you've been taught is contradictory to the Bible, right, right, right. that's all that is, my brother, now, I'm going to go with what you said, the black man, has sex with a white woman, his sperm slash seed goes into her. What 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 is that baby? What is he black or white? Mixed. Oh gosh. Bro, you I'll just said I'll the I'll seed makes the baby. That's what you said. They so, both do. Okay, we're gonna go to scripture. They make the baby. We're gonna go to the scripture. The we're gonna go to the, the can, features, can we go to scripture? The everything can we go to scripture? Why he got, can we why go to the scripture? So black, but he got eyes. Can we go to the scripture? That don't count. We go to Revelation two and nine later. Give me first right. Timothy six twenty. We're gonna go to we're gonna go to the scripture. Then I want numbers one and eighteen. What does that come Cap. from? Cap, you got something come from real, real quick, real quick. Hey, bro, let me ask you one question. Uh -huh. If we take an apple seed yeah. and plant it here in Brooklyn, what do we get? An apple seed. If we take an apple seed and plant it in China, what do we get? Uh, apple seed. An apple tree? I'm not an apple tree. If we take an apple seed and plant it in Jamaica, what do we get? Apple tree. We get an apple tree no matter where we put that seed, right? Because it's a constant apple seed. <laughs> cat, cat, hey, hey. That's what we try to show you, my brother. It's the same thing. It don't matter if the black man has sex. You know what chromosome? Bro, why you cut me off, man? Why you keep cutting me off? Bro, we're trying to build with you. We're not trying to argue with you. You, bro, I'm fully, I went to science class too, bro. I learned the same thing you learned. Are but check it out. Genetics, Chris, as Chris, as Chris, Chris, why are you doing that, bro? Why you, nah, you doing that because you're getting defensive, man. Just, okay, just stop cutting me off then. All right, bro? Now check this out. He just asked you. You answered it marvelously because you are intelligent, bro. He asked you if an apple seed is in China, what is it? You said apple seed. If it's in Jamaica, you said it's an apple seed. I bet. Going back to what you said originally. It takes two to make one. There you go. There you go again. So it, so it makes China and the apple seed to make an apple? No. The apple, no, no! It does not! The apple makes the apple. It does not, the Chris! Apple makes the apple. The two, apple makes the apple. And a woman, whether the race, see, makes see, the now, same see, thing. Chris, Chris, Chris. Makes, Chris. Makes what it is. This is what it is. We're going to read the scripture because I don't think you really want to understand. understand. Listen to the scripture, man. Because you think about it. you just going up. Who taught you that? Stop. Who taught you that? Bring it up. It's who taught you that? Stop. I learned it in school because who, who, they teach all right. who logic. teaches us who teaches us in the school? Teachers. Alright. Who okay, think about it. Was it our people that started the public education system? 
We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.